Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I have a highly, highly requested haul and try on for you guys today from Amazon. Um, but before we jump into the clothes, I just wanna tell you guys a few things. First, if you are new here, I am Megan of Curves, Curls, and Clothes, and hit that subscribe button and that bell before you leave. And if you're already part of the CCC family, thank you so much for coming back to my channel and supporting my videos. I really, really appreciate it. So I wanted to tell you guys that I started a Facebook group for CCC. So I have, you know, Instagram and then I have a Facebook page, but I started a Facebook group and it's a closed group. Um, but we're going to talk about all kinds of stuff in there, share stuff between each other. I want you guys to be able to get advice from one another, not just from me. And we're gonna have daily uh, threads as well, like Motivation Mondays, Wellness Wednesdays, uh, Frisky Fridays, where we share like hot looks that we're gonna wear for the weekend and things like that. So I will put a link to it down below if you guys want to join the Facebook group because we already have almost 700 members and I just started it last week. So I'm really excited because everybody's like introducing themselves and sharing and finding people that are close by and sharing tips and tricks and living your best plus size life. I'm so excited to see where it goes and you guys are so pumped to be in it which just makes me so so happy. Um, so yeah I will link it down below if you guys want to join or you can just search Facebook for Curves, Curls, and Clothes and you'll see the official Facebook group. So it'll say Curves, Curls, and Clothes, the official Facebook group. If you want to find it that way, you totally can. But anyway, let's get to the clothes, the real reason that you're here. <laughs> so there's a few pieces in here that if you follow me on Instagram, then you already know that I love, I stand, I wear them all the time. So I just, I don't think I've ever showed them over here. I might have, but I don't think I have. I know I have not done a dedicated Amazon haul. And though I am an Amazon Prime member, I shop Amazon all the time. They are always delivering stuff to my house. I have Amazon boxes like crazy in my garage. So anyway, I'm gonna jump in and show you the stuff that I got. So the first outfit I'm gonna show you are two of my like go-to trusty pieces and then the pants I wore to try on some of the other pieces. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you those first. So first up we have, this is just a little tee, a little basic tee and it has a dolphin cut, which you guys know I love. It has a little pocket over here. Um, they have this in like hella colors. So I have it in mustard and then I just ordered this navy one. Um, but they have it in like every single color. The, um, the photo, one of the photos, the models on the photos, um, uh, is like half naked in the picture. I'm not really sure why she just has the shirt on. But anyway, this shirt is amazing to wear over leggings because it has, it's a longer, um, and it just fits really, really like slouchy and, um, comfortable. And this one I got in a 2 the last time I got a 3X and it was a little bit longer and bigger than I really wanted. So I went for a 2X with this one and it fits amazing. I'm definitely going to order it in more colors. It's just that easy to wear. It's just a basic, but you can dress it up. You can put it on with like knee thigh high boots or you can put it on with sneakers. And I love that. Next up, we have my no-nonsense leggings, you guys. If you've been following me for a while, you know I love no-nonsense leggings. You can get them at Walmart, or you used to could. Um, I started ordering them on Amazon after I discovered how much I love them. So, did I call them leggings? Because they're totally jeggings. Anyway, so No Nonsense is the brand, and they have leggings, but these are their denim leggings, or jeggings, as we call them, and they are so bomb. So I have these, I have worn these for years. All of my friends wear them because I'm like, you gotta try these jeggings. There's just something about them, like the way that they fit. Um, they are just like, they're just super fitted. Like they just suck you in, they hold you in, they're high waisted. And there's just something about them that I just really, really love. I have probably eight pair. <laughs> and I have them in different color. I have them in white, I have them in black. And I I think I have them in cheetah. They had them in cheetah at one point. Anyway, so they have, they don't have a zipper or anything like that. They're a pull on and they have this like little faux zipper area and these little faux pockets on the front. They do have actual pockets in the back and this is an XXL um, and I'm a size 20 and I'm going to tell you right now, these are not cute to put on. It's not a cute look. It's not a cute situation. I always tell my boyfriend, I'm like, look away because you can't unsee this. But once you get them on, they look amazing. <laughs> so just remember that um, if you are like trying to get them on, you feel like they're too tight. They're so, so stretchy and I just love them and they just hold you in. And after you wear them a couple times, they're like 
perfectly fitted to your body and you're like, yes. So I love these with anything. I love them with sneakers. I love them tucked into boots. I love them with booties. I'll even like um, cuff them a couple times and wear them that way too. They're just really, really awesome, like staple jeggings. These are like my go-to. So I wore the rest of these shirts with those jeggings just for the try on. Um, and then we have a dress at the end. So I see people like do Amazon hauls a lot or like talk about the stuff they get from Amazon. And I'm not a huge Amazon clothes shopper. And that's mainly because I can't hardly ever find anything on there that I'm like, because some stuff you see, it looks really cute, right? And then you start reading comments and it's a little sus. You're like, okay, a lot of people don't like this. A lot of people says it wasn't as pictured on and on. There's all kinds of reviews. So <laughs> everything that I got seemed to be pretty legit. I mean, those pieces I already had, and I just ordered additional ones, so I knew what the quality was, but um, next up we have this little peplum shirt that looked so cute in the picture, and I was like, okay. Um, so it has a little peplum, like it has a high waist and a little peplum, and then it has all of these cutouts along the top, so it just looks real fancy. It has little cap sleeves, and um, this I got in, let's see, oh, it doesn't have a tag. Um, I'm pretty sure I got it in an 1820, but I will uh, list it down below. Um, that's funny. I don't know why. I've not even worn this yet. It doesn't have a tag in it. But um, I did really like the way that this fits. So I was very surprised. It is a thinner material. It's not like a scuba or anything. So the peplum doesn't like stick out really far. Um, it's not super full. It lays more close to your body, but I wasn't mad about that. I feel like you could really, really dress this up if you wanted to. You could wear it with like... Um, a cigarette pant, like a colored cigarette pant, like a red or a navy or even like a cobalt and some heels and that would be really pretty. Or you could just wear it with jeans like I did <laughs> and it would be cute too. So um, yeah, this was another good piece. I am definitely loving that. So next up, there's all these cute like slouchy um, off the shoulder sweaters on Amazon, right? So I wanted to order one and see if they were as cute as the picture. So I ordered this one. Um, it's really, really cute. I'm not going to lie. It's cute. And I ordered it again with the no tags. What are we doing? I'm pretty sure <laughs> most of this I ordered in a 3X or an 1820 if it said 1820 because I'm a 20. Um, and it's just this really, really slouchy sweater. It's got this big collar at the top. It has some elastic at the bottom as well. Um, it has these big oversized sleeves and it was a tad see-through, FYI. Just wanted to let you guys know that. And you can see it a little bit in the try-on. It's a little bit see-through. Um, you can do off the off both shoulders because it's super stretchy. Or you could just do off one, which is kind of how I preferred it. Um, but it is really cute. And I'm going to say this. I do not know if this is going to be one of those sweaters that, like, stretches out as the day goes on. Um, it feels like it could be. It has the potential to be. And then it has the potential not to because it does kind of snap back when you pull it. But... Um, it will be one of those sweaters that will snag. So if you want to wear this, like don't wear like bracelets that can snag and don't. I had this one shirt that I absolutely loved and I wore a glitter clutch with it one time and I just snagged it all up and I could never wear the, the shirt again. I was so upset. So keep that in mind. If you do order this, it is fragile, let's say. Um, but it, it is cozy, it's comfortable um, if you just want to throw some leggings on and some like Uggs or something or just some booties um, to just run errands in. This would be perfect for that. It's just like a cozy one shoulder off the shoulder deal. Um, really, really cute. I'm saying cute a lot again. Don't judge me. You're here for this, all of it. Good, bad, and ugly, right? All the cutes and everything. Uh, this is the next shirt, and I did get this in an 1820, um, and it is another off-the-shoulder, and it's like a baggier fit, okay? And then it has a little tie, and you can tie it up at the waist, um, and, and like I said, it's off-the-shoulder, and the arms were a little tight, so it wasn't like unwearable, uncomfortable, get this thing off of me tight, but they were tight and they were visibly tight, I felt like. Um, not like, oh my God, she shouldn't be wearing that, but it was like, you could tell that the sleeves were tight. So if you carry a lot of weight in your arms like me, this might be one to um, skip, but I will totally still rock it because 
that's me. <laughs> and I did like the um, finishing on the sleeves. I thought that was really cute. It has like a little faux bell going on. Um, and it had, they had this in quite a few colors if I remember correctly. Um, and it's super stretchy and, and it's just fun and easy to wear and, and goes good with those jeggings. I thought it was just an adorable little look. So the last two pieces I wore together for the try on um, and that's how I attended them when I bought them. Okay, so we have this kimono, let me turn it right side out, which is basically like a big rectangle with holes cut in the arms. <laughs> Um, but it was cute on and it was I got this in an XXL and it was really really cute on it drapes nicely it's nothing fancy like I said it's like they like sewed together a bunch of scarves and then cut holes in them I'm not really sure but <laughs> that's what it felt like to me um, but I'm not mad about it because it looked cute on and it flowed nicely so you know it's a kimono it's not supposed to be fitted it's fine. So the, and the pattern's really pretty. It had a lot of really pretty colors in it. And um, I don't think I have, I'm gonna lie and say I don't think that I have a white kimono, but I'm pretty sure I probably do because I have um, a ton of them. So anyway, I wore that with this girl right here. And y'all, she's tight. This is an XXL as well. So I read all of the reviews on this dress and they were like telling me to get this size for if I was a, a size 20 and girl is tight. So it is a bodycon and it is ruched all the way down the side. So it's supposed to look, you know, you have a lot of ruching, which is, can be very forgiving on like my belly and booty area, which is where I carry most of my weight. And I love a bodycon kimono combo. It's like one of my go-tos in the summer. So I wanted something that looked um, similar to the ones I used to get at Forever 21 that they don't seem to be stocking anymore. And this is like a racerback like those were. So, and it had the ruching, I thought, oh, that's easy to wear for the summer, or, you know, throw a kimono on it, throw some sandals on, and it's casual, or throw, you know, like a blazer on over it and some heels, and it's dressy, because, but, <laughs> I was struggling to get this on. Have you ever worn a bandage dress? If you've ever worn a bandage dress, then you know what I'm talking about. Once I got it on, it didn't look terrible <laughs> i didn't have any shapewear on it with it because i try to try stuff on on camera without shapewear on so you guys can see it as it fits without any shapewear um and it didn't look terrible but just the process of getting it on and like it just there was areas that just felt tight because of the ruching it's, it would bunch up in certain areas like right around my waist um anywhere that was a little bit smaller it would bunch up in that area and so it was just um, not very comfortable and it I thought I was gonna need assistance to get it off. I'm not gonna lie um, So I'm gonna order this because I did like the dress. I liked the ruching. I liked the cut I like the length so I'm gonna order this in um, XXXL which I'm pretty sure that they had it in um, And see if that fits a little bit better because I really like the color and like I said I just really liked it with the kimono. I thought that was a really pretty look it's just a little bit too tight. She she's a little too tight, so we need to go up a size. <laughs> um, so yeah, those are the things that I got from Amazon. As always, I will link everything in the description bar below for you guys to shop them. But I thought I got some really good pieces, and it was my first time really clothes shopping on Amazon. So um, you guys, a ton of you guys had requested that I do one. And um, yeah, if you guys like this one, give me a thumbs up and let me know in the comments and we'll do some more of those because it was kind of like hunting. I was like hunting around, reading comments, trying to figure out what size I can because a lot of these, a lot of companies on Amazon are um, Asian sizing. So they'll have like the Asian size chart that tells you what it should be for US sizing and the US and it can be there can be off it can be not correct <laughs> so um, it's kind of like a game let's go with this one based on the reviews and we'll just see if it fits <laughs> so uh, yeah so I hope you guys liked this and don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe and hit that bell if you are not already subscribed and thank you so much for watching my video I will see you guys next time